Hey, what's up everyone? I'm trying out my new uh, device to see um, if that's better than me holding the camera. So, I don't know. Because now it's jumping around. But I'll see. I can rest my, my hands here. Um, so, we'll try it for this time. And then if it's too much, then I'll switch back <laughs> to just holding it. Um, I've done a lot today. I got up and I went and um, did my run uh, and uh, so I've been listening to Brother Panic <laughs> and I've heard his name like I said a few times I just haven't ever had a reason to go over there to him and a couple of days ago I did and I found this live this three four hour recording and um, like the whole the only thing that I wish and of course you can't control everything and people are gonna say what they say because I could care less about the whole Will Smith and Chris Rock thing you know however um, I see him using that um, GIF or pick picture pics you know in in uh in advertising his thing and if you if someone fell for it that wasn't ready ooh, i mean I've, I've heard that he he says some stuff you know he's not gonna take it easy on you it's gonna be straight no chaser so uh yeah it was it was good i enjoyed it so, um, so anyway, yeah, I did my run today um, for the first, this is like my, this is my second, this was my second time running um, since my race. And I just uh, told my life partner about how, you know, during the race, I had an episode as soon as I started. And I took off, you know, at a good pace. I didn't see anything wrong. And within, I don't know, 50 meters or so, I mean, it was like, please, somebody call the ambulance. <laughs> and we still had two more waves to come after the wave I was in. And so I started, you know, panicking. And um, Spirit basically spoke to me and told me what to do the whole way. So I got to double check my time because I think... Um, of course, I was disappointed at my time and everything. I was glad I finished. I was disappointed at my time because I, I knew I had trained well. And even the shoes that I'm wearing now, the one thing I asked for and said that I needed was basically what Nike has, the, the lightweight shoes. And because I pronate, I can't wear those kind of shoes. And I was like, man, I just had lighter shoes, you know, and I didn't... Um, I wasn't the weight that I wanted to be um, when running. And I was like, well, that doesn't matter. I mean, men run at the same weight and they're fine, you know, so let's not get caught up in my train or not. And I'm like, yeah, I could, I could bring it home in uh, 10 minute miles or less. Um, the last, uh, it was 125 is what you had to bring it home in. And I felt really good. And even with all that had happened, I was fine um, however I just um, you know I just I just wasn't I just wasn't there and I kept pushing myself and pushing myself and you know thinking that I would get there and even when I woke up that morning um, it's like okay you shouldn't run and um, I wasn't there where I could receive that message now I understand now I understand um, everything that's been going on since my run I understand and uh, I couldn't have understood then because it just would have you know I'm not I'm not gonna quit you know not gonna quit so if you die doing what you love then hell that's what you did <laughs> you know let everybody spend they can spend my money it's not my money. I got insurance for them, you know. Um, 
<laughs> whatever you know what I'm saying so anyway so it's this is my second time running since my race and um it was interesting because the first time I ran since my race uh I had that same kind of feeling and um I told my life partner about it um last night and I told him I said I don't know what's happened you know like I stumbled on some of my videos um, from Instagram and um, I was like, wow, if someone looked at my Instagram, they wouldn't know that I'm spiritual. And I thought about it because I've, um, you know, reached out to a couple of new spiritual people and um, I see that they, you know, started following me and I'm like, wow, well, they wouldn't know that I'm spiritual, you know, because it's like, I was like, was I really running that much? Was I working out that much? I mean, I know that I would say it, you know, I was doing two to three workouts every day a week, seven days a week for the first two years. And then the last year I stopped doing the workouts on Sunday. Um, however, I still worked out every day. Um, Saturdays, I only did one workout, but for like a year on Saturday, I did the um, two classes every now and then. Um, special occasion. <laughs> I still don't get it how people can do bricks twice in a row. And I was usually always um, training for a race or I had like a few weeks or something of downtime before I could, before I had to start training for another race. So I definitely wasn't going to... Um, you know, use my legs up on some bricks. <laughs> um, so Saturday was one workout. So that made day six. And then I worked out small group was supposed to be two times a week. However, the new trainer that they got, um, that uh, duly trained, transitioned us over to, they uh, had us doing it three times a week. And then I did boot camp every morning. And then on the two days that I wasn't doing my um, my small group training, then I was uh, doing um, uh, boot camp twice. So I do it in the morning and come back and do it in the evening. So that's at least two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 classes <laughs> for three weeks, for three years. And so um, I really enjoy them. Um, I, enjoyed the, I enjoyed the competitive nature of it. Um, I enjoyed the fact that the owners um, were about, they really, you know, you can see they really cared about people. Well, what I consider cared about people um, so I just enjoyed it. They were brothers. They were young brothers. Um, not blood brothers, but, you know, brothers. And I just enjoy seeing young men, you know, make something happen and stay in the community and make it happen, you know. So I really enjoyed it. And then the competitive part, it was a real intense <laughs> workout. So uh, when I started in 2018, oh, my goodness, started at the back of the class. I weighed 193 pounds and, you know, by the time I left, I worked my way up to the front of the class and had dropped my weight down all the way to 134. And uh, so it was a good adventure, you know, and I was number nine in my age group for the gym and uh, they had like 10,000 members and, you know, I just was really getting it, you know, it was, it was really helpful because, you know, Atlanta I went to Atlanta because I wanted a mix of um, what I had in DC without going back to DC where it was uh, um, ouch. <laughs> trying to adjust this neck thing not going back to DC with all that weather where it's May and they're having snowstorms or whatever <laughs> so um, anyway I uh, did that hang on I did that and um, it was really good. So I 
recorded, you know, everything. That was my thing to give a shout out um, to people. I still was doing my spiritual stuff just as much intensely um, and stuff like that. And I was still running my races, half marathon and the Gate River Run. So, um, yeah, I was always training for three years. I've worn myself out, <laughs> and which is why I'm walking now. And of course, you can see I picked back up that weight. However, that weight's not from uh, not working out. This weight is from because I've been going through releasing the stuff about myself so that eating isn't a thing that I do. So, and um, anyway. So with all of that said, uh, when I stumbled on my pictures, I just didn't know. I was like, wow, I was so skinny and look how I looked. And was I really working out that much? And I'm, this is supposed to be a spiritual channel, you know? <laughs> so it was, it was something. And then that's when uh, I got a chance to talk to uh, my love about um, his... Uh, about you know what happened at the race and he didn't say anything so i know i'm gonna get it later i know he's gonna talk to me later because he'll be quiet <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to explain that one um however you know that's the thing about you know you have a partner and you're spiritual and you want stuff to you know you want to have someone in your life and at the same time then you got to think about on that person is uh um i'm distracted because i'm looking at my triple chin <laughs> i know that's so vain <laughs> i can't help it let me see if i can fix it <laughs> Ooh, that's what i get but i'm gonna stick with this vanity hang on <laughs> all right so with the vanity <laughs> i still don't like it so uh anyway um what i was saying is that uh i got to talk to him and yeah i'm gonna have to explain myself oh wow so they've made the, the house oh so that's the reason why i wanted to get out because i wanted to walk around and see the progress that they've made on the on our neighborhood and uh getting the last um, houses up so I definitely I haven't been out here for maybe a week or so I've been going to the gym so I wanted to I like seeing their progress I like seeing you know them building the houses it reminds me back in the day when when uh, my dad built a house and we were first people in our our neighborhood um, so anyway um <laughs> so i wanted to come out here and see how far they've gotten it also has that creative energy um for me it has the creative energy because it's just like okay you know everybody's creating you know so i like that um so anyway um that the second time I ran I had the same kind of thing happen and you know I was talking to spirit and spirit was guiding me so I would run a few minutes and then stop run a few minutes and then stop and um you know I just kept pushing through while I was running and um, I really didn't look too much into it spiritually to see what was going on and so yesterday I will have to tell him um him about it then I started with myself and I was just like um you know just talking to spirit and I've been listening to um uh brother panning and uh so uh that whole thing you know listening to that whole thing and uh and then just like reminding myself um I talked to um via dm one of the um, people I listened to, um, Q Reeves, and his um, his partner, Naya Now, 
And, uh, you know, it's something about when you listen to people who are basically, you know, I just enjoy um, at different times listening to people who are just like, you know, straight, <laughs> straight no chaser. They be lighting you up. And so uh, Naya Now has a Naya Now moment. I think that's what it is on YouTube. But if you go um, Google it on YouTube, it's up there now. It's uh, like a recent thing within the past couple of days. And then, um, so we already know about Q Reeves. He's straight no chaser. And um, he has so much um, that he gives you, you know, and it's like, he, he tells you the stuff and the confirmations that come from it. And for me, it's just like, um, I'm okay with being, my, being by myself and doing this, this stuff alone and stuff like that in different times when you know it's just me 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 <laughs> you know it's no one else and um uh, i've gotten better at it um and within the last uh, when did i get my crystals two weeks ago i got my crystals and so um it's like i'm i'm good it's like everything's good i'm good you know what i'm saying it's like i'm understanding the times when you have to be um by yourself and understanding what it means to be by yourself um you know and alone and um uh you know how it's just necessary you know what i'm saying it's just necessary for you to get in and do the digging on yourself that you need to do and uh um so that's that's why i'm laughing at brother panic because man <laughs> he just went in on people that's the whole thing. It's like, if you don't even know yourself, then what? I mean, he was cussing and everything. I loved it. He's like, what are you talking about? What are you concerned about? You don't even know yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know yourself. And if you know yourself, you can't do shit else. You know, you can't be in a tribe. You can't be in a family. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't, all of that. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting in the amen corner, just enjoying how um how he's just lighting people up lighting not people up individually just lighting it up you know what i'm saying and it's like um i'm just glad that i was further along um you know because even when he's saying he's not being rough, he's being rough. i mean you know what i'm saying if he was same thing people say about me. I'd be swearing up and down I'm not rough. And they'd be like, shh, if you aren't rough, then they need to change the definition because you are rough. And uh, so, um, however, I mean, certain people need that as a joke. You know what I'm saying? To stop, to stop whatever they're doing and to get started on their journey and stop justifying, you know, justifying why you're doing this, justifying why you're doing that, you know, justifying you know, why you have to be around other people, you know, all these other kind of things, because those are the kind of things, like, that has been my downfall, relationships, you know, and my heart is just to, was, it's not anymore, <laughs> I like somebody up early too, mm -hmm. they tried it, what they say from uh, Real Housewives, don't come for me, unless I send for you, and I'm not sending for anybody, because everyone's supposed to be on their path. I'm not sending for anyone, and I'm not coming for anyone. And I'm not, no longer in the mode of explaining, and you know, stuff like that. The only thing I'm doing, because it pleases me, is I like to share what I'm going through spiritually, other things that I've learned and grown, and come to understand and then I do enjoy sharing with um on my channel you know just people I mean I love the young people they crack me up they're fucking shit up <laughs> I just like if old people don't get on the bandwagon I guess they don't really have to you know what I'm saying if you want to you can if you don't because you're an infinite me if this is your time it's your time if it ain't it ain't so anyway However, just laughing about, I'm like, I guess all the old people are going to be in church because all the new people are going to be in somewhere else. <laughs> or all the people who are understanding what's happening, they're going to be way somewhere else. Um, and everybody gets to be where they're supposed to be, and that's, that's the thing. It's like if you understand yourself, 
you're not chasing a person or a trend you know you're not worried about you know someone's over on fifth street and you're all over here by yourself on you know half street and it's like well what are you doing over here or you know people who know you are hitting you up in your dms and all that and then the algorithms that are on the um your phone are telling you that you're supposed to be on fifth street and you know everything that you know about yourself from your astral travel um to spirit talking to you when you're in your meditation or having time by yourself or just being by yourself spirit is giving you your angel numbers and you know your spirit totems and all that and you have lucid dreams every single thing of everything that's happened even when you listen to different people that you listen to somewhere in there they say the word half 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 and you're like okay that's my confirmation i'm on half street you know and however everybody else all ten thousand people are on fifth street see and you have to know how to be on half street even if you're wrong you're supposed to be on half street because whoever created you and whoever's guiding you and all that you know that's why you got to check with who's guiding and creating who created you and who's guiding you because they're not working against you they're not putting you in situations that are over your head that's going to tear down who you are you know what i'm saying because if you get to a point where you're just following them you might as well be following everybody else you know what i'm saying it doesn't make no sense it's like you have to understand you first you know and you have to stay there no matter what i used to do the analogy because i hate it hate it hate it hate it hate it and it's just like when back way back in the day because i've been on this journey since the early 90s and back way back in the day it was like hi okay this is when i still you know believe in god i don't now yeah, i mean come on now hopefully after covid nobody believes in god <laughs> however if you still hey if that's your journey to believe in god then go ahead knock yourself out i'm not i don't know my, my life partner's like how do you know not coming back is better than coming back how do you know i'm like i don't know i just know i don't want to do this anymore. Well, how do you know that this isn't gonna be worse you know if you're like i don't know i don't know you come back i'm not coming back i'm gonna go see what's over the mountain so i'm not coming back so i'm i'm released i have released all and everything so yeah <laughs> so anyway it's like i used to back in the day be like okay well you know this is just i'm gonna stay here until god comes and picks me up from daycare and i would picture myself just sitting there on a, on a step or whatever just waiting to come and no matter what happened and everybody's gone i'm still there and it's like no you know god told me to wait right here that was my message to wait right here i'm not going anywhere else and i'm just waiting and i was right to wait <laughs> I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place now. Baby. Yeah. So it was just cracking me up because it's like no matter what panic said, it all came back to the same thing. I mean, you have to know yourself. And the only way you're going to know yourself is to spend time with yourself. That's it. It's like you aren't going to know nothing else which way to go you aren't going to know like to even go on fifth street the reason why you're not on fifth street is because okay i'm not supposed to be on fifth street right now i'm supposed to go at 12 45. i've been seeing the number 12 45 12 45. so that's where i'm supposed to go so you're going to need to know that and you don't need to know it to explain it to anybody it comes to a point where you're not explaining shit. like i'm not in the explaining anymore i'm in the sharing to just people on my channel i've gone through my instagram and i've unfollowed and un and made it unfollow for anyone who's just not on there for spiritual stuff because i don't want to bark you know what i'm saying it's like i'm giving you the opportunity to get off if you haven't got off my channel or unsubscribe and stuff like that which definitely is i think is the best thing to do because who wants to hear all this nonsense so 
I went ahead and took people off. <laughs> However, you know, a few people have joined back up and that's fine. You know, I put out enough that I'm just doing spiritual stuff and um, they may not like it or appreciate it. I was talking to one of my long, long friends. <laughs> He was cracking me up. He's just like, I don't want to know anything I'm not supposed to know. I don't want to be involved in anything I'm not supposed to know. That's not my stuff. That's not my business. I'm just cracking up laughing because it's like, dude, your mother was the spiritual, spiritual, spiritual one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so it was just cracking me up. Um, and I'm like, I'm, I understand. I mean, the stuff that I know spiritually now, um, that's some things I was thinking about. When panic was talking, I mean, I wouldn't have known. I mean, who needs to know? Who needs to know this shit? I don't think it's... I mean, I'm just talking from a place of where I was and understanding where people are. I mean, you know, I was perfectly fine where I was. As messed up as I was, as whatever I was, I was perfectly fine without this. <laughs> I, what it took to give made that like you used to say in the old days mm -mm, no no yeah yeah I, I left myself messages I left myself I don't know what time time this is in my infinite life that I've come back to this world I just know that I got my messages I'm good what has been my Achilles heel is family friends that kind of stuff is that loyalty loyalty stuff that's what's got me in trouble and so because i was out of order with myself that's why i'm not mad that's what i gotta remember the title of this i'm not mad at nobody i'm not mad at anyone or nothing like that i did all of this to myself all of it and it's not even like hard anymore like before i used to cry and I mean, this is just changes that's been happening in the past, you know, weeks since I've been back from my race and, and, and girls trip. And now I'm not going to lie. I mean, that was tough, you know, seeing people and experiencing certain things um, from a different lens and then coming back home, you know. However, it's like as soon as I experienced all that, spirit didn't give me no moment to backslide it swoop swooped me off into astral travel i did that for a solid three weeks and then i didn't sleep for a day and a half and then from there um i put on my rainbow hematite 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 ring and then i started being um educated <laughs> and uh so i i talked a few times about how i was poking my lip out and being spoiled and stuff like that however you know mama universe this is this is, um myra who's coming on tonight at 9 p.m with um brother rich black magic 363 is his youtube channel i'm looking forward to that at nine o'clock tonight so uh it's coming on and um and so anyway it's just like um when i turned my when i finished my 180 degree in my my 180 is Pisces. Like I said, I don't understand that bullshit. <laughs> However, what hey, look, whatever works, it got me here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the that's that's the Pisces is my Pisces the sign, the energy, or whatever is the other side of Virgo. So mm, I don't know who made that up. <laughs> however hey i'm going with it because i'm in a, a really good place and you know however i just i just don't see that this is some place that i would have come to by myself like somebody's like yeah you know or even preaching in church and yeah i'm like mm -hmm. i mean i would have lied to be here you know what i'm saying i would have pretended you know and gave a great show I definitely wouldn't have done none of the work. Mm -mm, no, baby. No. I would have lived whatever kind of way I was living, cashed on out, recycled back in, and did it however many times again. I was, because it was just, it was just a lot, you know? And so 
of course, now I understand that, and I understand, you know, some of part of this lab was, you know, when I was listening to um, YouTube, and and it's just like, you know, I understand the intensity. That's why I say that I'm not, I'm, I'm not collective. I'm not. I was laughing at panic. <laughs> you know, I'm not collective. I'm not. The collective can do whatever it's gonna do for all I care. I'm I'm not collective. I'm not saving collective. I'm not interested in collective. I mean, I have a tribe. When I say tribe, these are people who I was in a group with and I was learning. However, at any point, you know, that's why you gotta know yourself. At any point where tribe begins to start having that kind of mindset, like it tells you what to do <clears throat> like i said then it's just like exit stage right i'm not doing that i mean i didn't have to physically leave my tribe i had to understand the healing that was taking place you know i've never healed and stayed you know my atlanta tribe mama baba those great wonderful people and tribe all my brothers and sisters in that tribe those were the first ones that, you know, I am grateful to them that they put up with my ass. <laughs> I mean, one time Mama Bear had to tell me. I was insulted, too. <laughs> she, she was telling me that I was getting ready to be put out the tribe. I was like this far from being put out the tribe. And the other person who I had said something about that she told me I was out of order with was going to get to stay. That was the ultimate spanking. Ooh, that's why I usually don't care about getting no spankings. But mm -mm, not for Mama Bear. You don't want no spanking. It's a, it's enough just working and be, and being around Mama Bear. God forbid, it's Mama Bear and Baba. I set myself up for that. I mean, it was the best. I mean, five weeks of being worked on by both of them was the best. But. Another thing you don't want to do. <laughs> it's so funny. I did so many things that I'm just like, I guess that's the whole point of why I say I'm not interested in coming back. You know, it's like, because the level of digging, whew, my neck, the level of digging that I did, you know, that's the big thing. That's what, you know, the level of digging. And, and it's like, I, I wouldn't stop. You know, I was, I, I'm all in on my, on my um, understanding myself. I'm all in. So, because um, this is what I created for myself. That's why I'm not mad. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not dealing with people the same way I was before. And it's funny to see people come back around. It's funny to see people show up on my 